Hug his eyeball. <laughs> it's so big. It's so fucking big. It's so fucking big. <laughs> hey, um, would you guys say like this eyeball's big? Since <laughs> Cynthia and Mario, is this eyeball big? That thing is fucking huge. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, that's what I thought too. <laughs> oh, it's so big. It's so big. It's is it so big? big? Bigger yeah. than the average, I tell you that. Oh. Mario, would you, you say? Think this horn is big. Is that is it big? Would you say it's big? <laughs> Cynthia, would you say it's big? I feel like this is like normal when it's soft. <laughs> what? This is an average soft dick. You know what I mean? Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Kaya. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I would definitely agree. Do your best Mike Wazowski impression. Okay, wait, honestly, I want to hear Devin's best Mike Wazowski impression. Go. Can I hear my best? Yeah. I have a mean Mike Wazowski impression. Let me hear it. <coughs> oh, yeah, can we share? Yeah. Hey, I'm Mike Wazowski. <laughs> we'll get the fuck out of here. What's blue, huh? It's from Easter. Hey, we're the monsters. I'm Mike Wazowski. Oh, hey, yo, taxi, year. give me a. Give me a shot of Henny, I'm Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Holy, I'm so close to you guys, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike Wazowski, I'm gonna Wazowski. scare the shit out of your little kids, huh? I'm a monster. Anyways. Give me your best squirrel impression. Give me your best squirrel impression. I'm a fucking squirrel, huh? <laughs> Climb your tree. Hey, yo, fuck your mother. <laughs> fuck your, m your mother. Mario, do your best uh, shark impression. Check that one. I fucking... Oh, Sharks don't make noise. Give me your best Chewbacca. I have the cool one. That's one. Hey, I'm Chewbacca. <laughs> hey. do, 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 the, do the growl. Where's Hans? So <laughs> hey, I'm Chewbacca. Hey, we're in a spaceship. Hey, where the fuck Han at? Hey, we're Han at. Tell him I said what's up. <laughs> Come through to the, the spaceship, huh? <laughs> Hey, where's that? Where, hey. Sage, give me your best giraffe impression. Sage. I'm a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck is going on? How's the weather down there? Hey, <laughs> hey you have a fucking long one. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn, you fucking small. Hey, yo, Sage, do your best shark impression. I'm a fucking shark. <laughs> I like to swim. Uh. I'm in the fucking ocean. I keep wanting to go back to the A, fool. That's what I want to talk like when I do an yeah. accent. How would I get a draft talk? E. E, fool. <laughs> fucking dog and shit. Huh? I can't hear you. <laughs> you're fucking <laughs> short, huh? Find out you're short, huh? Find out you're short, you know? Find out. I'm a out. fucking giraffe. <laughs> like your hair or like... I'm so I'm so tall and lanky, uh. <laughs> dude. She said she picked up hair from the bathroom in her slime, and I'm pretty sure that's pubes. Because <laughs> if you're picking up hair from my bathroom, that shit's for sure pubes. There's always pubes uh, on the rim in your bathroom. In the room? In on the rim of his. Oh, seat. I know, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I be I be trying to wash it down for you. Yeah. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. I like I clean it off just with your hands too. Oh, wait, yeah. you were talking about peeing on who are you? Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, yo, give me your best chicken impression. Hi, my name is Nick. <laughs> hey, yo, give me your best Cynthia impression right now. Wait, who? Cynthia. Who? Cynthia. No, who, though? Who's giving the impression? I think Devin got it. <coughs> oh, wait, my name's Cynthia. Oh. oh. <laughs> wait, now, let me do it. <laughs> it sucks, huh? When you're on the other end. <laughs> Look at you, speechless. <laughs> is it? Hey, I'm Cynthia. Damn. Oh, 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 <laughs> my name's Cynthia, oh. <laughs> Keep going then, Devin. Yeah, I'm Cynthia, oh. <laughs> oh, you're getting roasted ooh. right now. Do your best Devin impression. I'm Devin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my right. name's oh. Cynthia, hey. <laughs> I'm oh fucking goodness. lit in here. Wait, did we already do the intro, <laughs> No, Nick? we have not. All right, guys, okay, yes. I can't do this if you guys are going to keep playing with slime. Okay, okay. Can I play with some slime then? <laughs> <laughs> no. Maru. Then can we use it to just squish Mata, it, but I won't you've be lost annoying. your privileges. I didn't have any privileges yet. Can Mata, I? Mata, you lost your privileges. Put it back. Oh, that shit went it. in, though. Put it in. You lost yours, too. No, I did You put it all up in the mic, bro. Nick, it's either that or I'm doing this the whole okay, time. Okay, fine. All right, fine. All right. And we're live in three, two, one. Hello, Ladies, monsters, gentlemen, animals, Flying creatures squirrels. of the night, sneaky links. <laughs> Welcome back to another segment of Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Mike Wazowski. Joining me tonight, we have Chicken Little. Bok bok, motherfucker. We have a flying motherfucking squirrel. 
<laughs> yeah, show them. <laughs> we have a great white shark. What do sharks make? Go. And we have a baby giraffe. Oh, fuck. It's <laughs> 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 do giraffes make sounds? No. Yeah, they do. I thought I saw an they animal go, guys, They go. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's a camel. That's a camel. No, giraffes tongues hang. All right, guys. Well, um, tonight we're gonna be starting things off a little bit differently than normal. Uh, recently, I had a bunch of people fill out a Google form, and I asked them to say their craziest relationship confessions. And we're gonna go ahead and read some of the most wildest ones. I think I'm gonna do this like. This week and then probably next week because there were like over 400. Wow. Mm. And I only got to like... That's more than 300. <laughs> Man, I feel left out. None of you guys took off your things. That's true. And I only got to like 150 to 200 because literally Devin and Ma Devin and uh, Cynthia were literally in the corner of my room fucking playing with slime and I really thought they were going to drop it all over my carpet. Anyways, guys. So, um, basically, I'm going to go ahead and read. Like I said, a couple of the craziest ones and... You guys are going to react to it. They haven't seen any of them. I'm the one who saw them and picked the best ones. So uh, if you hear yours, though. I'm scared. I know it's anonymous, but like you can like DM me if you want to. Or you can just comment, hey, like I'm the one who fucked my grandma. Yeah. Whoa. Just, yeah. Oh. Honestly. Wow. Gam Gam. Gam Gam. One of the thing is you motherfuckers. You, you, know, you know what our fan base is? Most uh, or not most, but I got a lot of fucking responses of people fucking dads. Like their boyfriend's dads, bro. Oh, and I'm like, no. what the oh. fuck? Yeah, you guys are disgusting. Ex's no, no. dad. Don't justify that. Some of them are still their boyfriend's dads. Yeah. All right, you guys ready to start off? Damn. Daddy? Well, you yeah, ready okay, to start off? So, okay, just started. What? Yeah, I'd fuck my ex's dad too. Is that what you're about to say? <laughs> no, just some dads can fucking get it. Some dads can't get it. Oh, uh -huh. wait. <laughs> you didn't have exercise lately, bro. Have I? Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and get straight into it. First one of the night. So this one time, me and my girlfriend at the time were doing the dirty, and the door cracked open, but she didn't realize it, but I did. I didn't pay no mind, and at the time, just kept stroking. Then I realized someone was, wa was watching, and it was her fucking mom watching me blow her daughter's back out. Come to find out, her mom was trying to fuck me, too. So when me and her broke up, because <laughs> she cheated on me, I ended up fucking her mom while she was away in college. You're, Whoa. you're a dog right? see i just feel like that stuff's only in like movies or like tv shows no that shit happens that's just real you know, dude i'll tell you now it gets crazy i'm sweating that's now. not the craziest oh. I'm sweating yeah that's not, the, that's not the fucking craziest one bro all right uh, you're I, a wait. fucking dog <laughs> this, way, hey, this was kind of funny this was short i sold a kid a tic tac in middle school for 20 dollars and told him it was adderall <laughs> <laughs> you know he faked it for sure oh, God. I, oh, I'm oh fucking God. Yeah. that would have been me bro that yeah. would have been me i want I, I paid like 20 dollars for a gram of weed Nick, once you bought like it fake like cough syrup one time it was real it was, it, was, <laughs> yeah. it was real cough syrup but you were telling us like hey this is codeine i got this from it <laughs> said promethazine on it it said promethazine I'm anyways crying. next like one some cvs cough syrup <laughs> <laughs> my ex-girlfriend in high school cheated on me with a girl i am a guy she was straight so we all thought can you repeat that, that my ex-girlfriend in high school cheated on me with a girl quotes i am a guy she was straight so we all thought end mm -hmm. quote Anyways, a year later, I fucked that same girl my ex cheated with and put my thumb in her butt. That was my <laughs> revenge to her. Why well, the extra detail? <laughs> <laughs> it's so specific. Is that like a power move or something? Put your thumb in her butt? Mark your territory, no? It's just like funny. Like, I fucked her, put my thumb in her butt. Like, yeah, that's fucking it's wild, funny. bro. Isn't that in a song? It is thumb in the butt. Thumb in yeah, the butt. Yeah, I know what song you're talking about. Yeah, what is it? Oh, is it like Drake or something? No, it's like Yachty, I think, or thumb in the butt. Hold on, wait, wait. It definitely goes with <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna put my thumb in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> wait, look at the lyrics right now, but oh, I swear to God, uh, that's like Yachty. Nah, no, it might it's be future. future. It's future. Yeah, it's like, so I, I, I held my something so like. So I put my thumb, thumb in the butt. butt. Nah, it was like an ad lib. So I, swear I just say, so I put my thumb in her butt. Future. Yeah, future. I'm gonna put my thumb in her butt. Lyrics. Future. Stick yeah. talk. Yeah. yeah. What's the lyric though? It would be future. My thumb in the butt. Oh, I think that's how it goes, actually. We be talking lick talk, and I'm gonna fuck your bitch too. I ain't got no manners, no for. I ain't got no manners for no sluts. I'm gonna put my thumb in her butt. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next one. Hard. Wait, quick, quick disclaimer. Also, I forgot to shave, so if you cry, <laughs> <laughs> can I see? Ew. Can I see? Can I actually see that? Can, can I, I see? see? Wait. Okay. Oh, Wait, that's just that's that, cotton, that, bro. That, that, Wait, you're not even hairy, bro. Yeah, you're not. What are you talking about? There's no hair there. Hey, do you guys find it weird that some people have like an armpit fetish? 
Those people people have that. Mm-hmm. Who, who the hell? Has oh, like sniffing it and stuff. Like getting up in someone <gasps> else's armpit. In, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. God oh, damn it, okay. Cynthia. Cynthia, you be bodying that camera, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you, <be> <laughs> <laughs> hey, you grew up with a sister and who doesn't shave like ever. Honestly, I, girls who don't shave their armpits like, doesn't it. really bother me so that much. What? So yeah. what? Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's literally nothing that. and there's nothing there. <laughs> I didn't need it. She's free. Free, <laughs> free the nipple. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> free the nipple. Okay. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Okay. Um, while in the closet and trying to figure myself out, I, a guy, slept with my girlfriend at the time, dad, a couple of times. Never told her. So that means her she, dad? she slept with the... The he, boyfriend slept with the dad. Yes. Damn, girl. And he was married? Was he married? I don't know if they were Ooh, married. Could you imagine? Cindy, could you imagine? That's some tea That's, right there. Yeah. Yeah, bro. How are you pe- How are you people getting with people's dads? Like. That's, wait, I got a couple more. Okay. It's that easy, huh? <laughs> I'm going to give a call my dad. <laughs> Back then, I dated this dude. I'm going to go call Nick's dad. I'm just <laughs> Oh. Anyways, back then I dated this dude and he was a crazy dude and he was saying I was cheating on him even though I wasn't but he kept assuming that I was so I got tired of him so I did cheat on him with his best friend and then I broke up with him because he got boring and then I started dating his best friend and he still doesn't know I cheated on him. Oh my Damn god. Girl. Where are you guys from? <laughs> yeah, dead ass. <laughs> yeah, for real, bro. Hey, okay. Okay. That's crazy. They're from, they're from like... Future's yeah. hometown or something. Future's <laughs> hometown. They gotta be from Fresno. <laughs> gotta be. <laughs> I was gonna say Fresno. If he listens to Future, the run Empire. the other way. They have to be from the Inland Empire. Mm. The IE. <laughs> the Bay Area. The British. I fucked a teacher right before a parent-teacher conference and almost got caught. Damn. Damn. That's savage. That's savage. That's crazy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. For listen. the good report. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do for the good wait, report. Listen. listen to this one. Okay, listen guys. Also, Cynthia and Devin told me to put in the grossest ones. So I did that. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. I once oh. I once fucked myself with a carrot from my fridge and then afterwards I put it back and the next day my family ate that carrot for dinner in oh, their soup. Oh my god. Go, whoever you are. This girl. Gotta be from the IE. You wow. <laughs> my ex tried to make me eat his ass out. When I went for it, he had dried shit in his ass. Oh, Ew! After that happened, I broke up with him and blocked him on everything. This was two years ago. He's like, I don't get it. What did I do? <laughs> Maru, wow. would you ever eat ass? No. If your man's asked you to? Hell no. Even no. if he was like your man's man, like you're in love with him. No, I don't give a fuck. I am not going close to a man's ass What if it was ever. clean right out the shower? Like I saw him scrubbing that shit. And you knew shit. it was fucking scrubbed. <laughs> He's like, you are, why would you watch him scrubbing that shit? <laughs> no, let's say, let's say you guys take a shower. And then he was like, Okay, never mind. <laughs> no, say it's in the- <laughs> Did you guys know that some guys don't wash their ass in the shower? No, yeah, because they think yeah, it's gay. It's sus. That's wild. What? That's a thing. That's that a is thing. wild. There's guys that, that there's guys that don't like like clean well, their butt. Imagine sus, like, like, that's sus. like oh that's yeah. gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like, oh. Or like let's say you take a shower, Maru, let's take a shower with the guy and he's like, oh clean my butt. <laughs> clean my clean butt it. and clean then and then you're like why and he's like so he's sexy you're like clean it with your mouth type shit <laughs> 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 wait you mean you mean mad mad did you, did you hear what you said what did he not say that <laughs> what did i say <laughs> he said it deductively he goes that's okay, sexy. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah, no, you did. did you hear what she, she said? said? Stop trying to cover I up your shit. I also heard what you said, though. That's way weirder With than your what mouth? I said. No, because we were talking. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't come at me. Okay, hold on. But it's because we were talking about eating ass. So I thought, like, oh, Cynthia, yeah. like. No, okay. Oh, so okay, okay. Wait, okay. I mean that too. But let's say okay. you were like, why? And he was like, I want you to eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> be in the corner like that was lucky fucking sex. <laughs> He's like, oh, be in the room. God, that was so hot. <laughs> Maria, think about it. Think about it, Maria. Oh, think about Maru, it. Let, it's just like <laughs> it's clean. <laughs> it's clean. Yeah. What? Uh, what's? Yeah. Let's say it's clean. That's like the only way he can get off. Mm. To eating ass. That's wild. Wait, <laughs> that's wild. Hold on. Cynthia, if that was the only way he get off, way, I'd probably not oh, be with no. him. That's yeah. facts. That's facts. Big pause, bro. That's wild. That's the only way to get it off. That's crazy. Anyway, but I did hear guys, guys. You know what the what the gooch is? Yes. Yeah, it's basically okay. I'm familiar <laughs> with my gooch. <laughs> I'm familiar with it. Can I ask you guys a question, the men? Yes. Y'all um. 
y'all ever <laughs> never mind <Are> <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to hear what Mata's about to say Heike. I don't, I don't, want to hear I don't even want to hear what you're about to say I heard I heard I heard like like y'all like it when girls like go down on your gooch <laughs> wait the gooch, yeah the, go the gooch yeah. yes the gooch yes that's yes. what the gooch is that's what the gooch is there yeah. for I see the thing is there to connect the Mata do you go down on the gooch what is the gooch it's Actually, the in between it's below the balls and the asshole so that's what i'm saying if you're down in the bro i it's literally like can't this. focus with this right now and wait a minute sage fucking that? screaming his head off sorry is that screaming yeah you how say? do you know you don't have headphones in. because i have the headphones oh, in. go ahead go ahead no, that's not kidding. okay <laughs> can i go on to the next oh, profession no, i do know what i was talking oh, about Jesus. look if you're like in the gooch Anyways, why do you say gooch like that? Mm. Just say gooch. I am saying gooch. No, you're not, you're not using an American accent. You're using a different type of accent when you say gooch. Are you being racist? No, I'm not <laughs> saying that you're using an Asian accent. I'm saying you'd say gooch like like a foreigner. Say it. Say say, say, say go ish. The go ish. The go ish. What what kind of accent is that? Wow. No, how am I saying? Say it. it? Say no. it. I'll tell no, you right no, now. Say it again. It sounded like you said goosh. You saying it like too fast or something, bro? Yeah. I think you're putting emphasis on the ooh. Yeah. Gooch. Yeah. Gooch. Like, gooch. Gooch. Like hooch. Like hoochie. Go. Anyway, sorry. But you know, people have said that. Like, whenever I say beach, people are like, "Why do you say beach like that?" Yeah. You yeah, say like, certain. We were talking about this last podcast. You say certain things weird. Anyways, that's literally being racist because English is not my first language. I'm not saying that you're saying it in, in a Korean accent. I'm just saying that you're not saying it right. Good. <laughs> that's, okay, there you go. Okay, that's a lot better. Go. Me, my good. Oh, is it too like fast? I have to go like gooch. <laughs> just, just say what you need to say. <laughs> the gooch. <laughs> okay. Next, next confession. Next confession. Next confession. All right. Um. Okay. Listen to this one. I broke up with my boyfriend, and when he started talking to another girl, I stalked her and found a way for her to cheat on him and told my ex. In my defense, it was recon. She deserved it. Can you repeat that? <laughs> yeah, wait, <he's> <laughs> I knew you guys weren't going to so get that one. So basically, she, basically... She stalked him, and then she saw him cheating, and she no, went to go tell that. No, no, no. So, so this girl broke up. <laughs> here, here, here. It's okay, here. it's okay. This girl broke up. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I brought, yeah, so she broke up with her boyfriend. So this dude started talking to another girl. She found a way to have the new girl that he's talking to cheat she, on him. Oh. Had her actually cheat on crazy. him. And then told her ex about it. That's savage. That's what's up. That's wild. She that was the one who broke up. up with him. Yeah. Oh, girl. Oh. That's a little fucked up. I mean, that's, that's fucked, fucked up. up. Gotta be from the IE. Hold on. <laughs> the fucked up part is the girl cheating, not the girl making her cheat. How could you make Dude. someone cheat? You know Why are mean? you going out of your way? She went out of her way, though. I mean, I guess it's, 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 she probably still would have done it anyway. Yeah, she probably would have done it anyway. All right, man. Like, she was just, you know. <laughs> she was just what? She was just sad. You're just standing up for the girlies right now, aren't you? I am. No, it was on that other girl for cheating. Okay. Whoever you were, don't fucking cheat. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Man, bro, that guy's probably fucking sad. Right? Let, let's listen to her. I'm currently fucking my ex, my ex's best friend, and my coworker, Jeez. who may or may not have a girlfriend. Damn, bitch. I mean, live your best <laughs> life. <laughs> I, I did anal for the first time on a play, playground hunt at night, and I shit on his dick. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> that's a big switch. <laughs> I don't even want to read half of these, bro. You're going to blur that the shit. Like, it's going to be beep. I know, I know. All right, all right. Next one, next one. Ew. One time I was waiting Ew. for my boyfriend in his car to get off of work, and I really... Okay, this one's really bad, though. Just Say it. And I really needed to, to, to pee. They closed their shop already, and I'm too shy to walk in and ask while they were closing. All he had in his car was a small empty cup from my coffee. The only right thing to do was get in the back seat and pee in that cup because I really needed to pee. So I just did that. As I was doing that, he was heading towards the car and saw me in the back seat and thought it was time to get freaky. So he was really excited. But what he didn't know is while we were having car sex, there was a cup of my piss in the bottom of his seat. I spilled that bitch after we finished though. Hold on, yeah. I have a question. Why didn't you just be outside? Yeah. True. That's, good. That's a good point, Marty. Damn, really so pee pee in the car? Pee pee in the car, bro. After I cheated on my ex, she had an orgy, recorded it, then sent it to me. That's what's up. That's the first thing I woke up to. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Girl, you a fucking savage for that one. I'll give it to you. You think that's valid? Yeah. No. 
Wait, well, he cheated? He cheated. He oh, cheated yeah. on her. That's valid? Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. Body valid? Yeah, you gotta come in. That is valid, but I feel like, I don't know, you guys, from I wouldn't your guys' point out of there, view, though. I feel like, wouldn't y'all be like... It's not necessary, but I mean, hey, karma comes to you in some way, and I guess that was his karma. That was his karma, but I feel like doing that low-key makes the makes a guy like be like, oh, she was a hoe anyways. I would Why cry. does that make her a hoe? I don't think I would cry, also, because I would just she, be like, huh? Why is she the hoe if he's the one who cheated? Because she's showing me, like... God, I don't want to see that. Like who? I don't know. My first, my, my first instinct is I'm I'm gonna cry. If you, that's I'd the first sad. thing I wake up to, I'd definitely be sad. But then I, it's a little it's a little out there. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, I don't think I'd be like. Uh, I mean, that's but then weird. but then like yeah, like I think if like I told my friends, my friends would be like, bro, like she literally had an orgy bro like you get what i mean but also why are you pissed about it if you're the one who cheated i don't no, understand no no that's that. valid but i'm saying that if i cheated on if i cheated on my girl and i didn't tell her anything like that and then i, I still like let's say i liked her and then i woke up the next morning and i saw that i would fucking cry is what i'm saying that's what i'm saying like yeah. go you go girl <laughs> okay next one um oh this one's pretty sad or okay how do you guys feel about this let's see it I found a pros and cons list about me in one of my ex's yes. notebooks and i never told him i did i would cry if That's you found a pros, and, okay. Up. So let's say let's say you're talking to someone, and for some reason you find a notepad, a pros and cons notepad of you, but the pros are like way better than the cons. The, and you're dating this person. What are the cons? That's what I'm saying. It would have to be circumstantial in the cons. Okay, cons are like cons are like your biggest insecurities, but pros are like fuck no. <laughs> oh fuck no. Goodbye. That's so yeah. bad. Yeah, exactly, That's crazy. Exactly. Like like, but the pros are the the pros. He's like, oh, he's hot. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's <a> <laughs> <laughs> Bros, cons. he's kind of hot. The cons? <laughs> God, he's annoying as shit. I fucking hate <laughs> How would hey, you, you feel if it was like, it was it like biggest insecurities, but the pros were like, I love, like, I love her, or I love him, or like, he's the one for me, she's the one for me, blah, blah. Oh, it, like, she's the one. Yeah. It's like the one pro. Yeah, yeah. But there's like a fat list of cons. Yeah, and it's like, your, but it's your, like your it biggest insecurities. Like I think it would seem kind of like cap too. Yeah, yeah. Like, damn. Why do you got so many cons? And yeah, if you got so many cons outweighing the pros, there's yeah, ain't no way. Ain't no way something's going right. You know what I mean? But yeah. the one was like, he's the one. Okay, what if there's a list about you? She's the one. <laughs> and then it was just like your biggest insecurities is like everything All the you way down. down. Chubby toes. She does this. this, this. <laughs> <laughs> you have chubby toes, dude? No. Doesn't shave her armpits. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, dirty car. <laughs> dirty <laughs> car. <laughs> I touched something slimy in her car once. Dead fetus in the back of her car. Dead fetus. Oh dead my. cat. Dead cat in the back of her car. <laughs> Can't say gooch right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be wild. I don't know. I, can we I do think... our, Can we do different cons for each other? No, please don't tell me my biggest insecurities. I'm gonna cry. I'm actually yeah, gonna I'm cry. Gonna cry Bro, <laughs> no, I don't want to hear my biggest cons. Yeah, I don't either. But honestly, I could if, be down. If, no, honestly, if someone makes a pros and cons list, it's literally the one con is just gonna be like, he's short. Like everything else is gonna be in the pro section, you know. That's what, what I was gonna say. Even, <laughs> if, even if they had yeah, like a list of cons, cons, I'd be like, okay. Okay, and like I already know this. I Nick, know this exactly. They do the pros and cons. They, 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 I cons. know, dear God, no, don't do that, <laughs> dear Lord in heaven. But don't you know what? Know but that. what about this, Cynthia? What if the cons, like you already know, like they're your cons, but like there's one that you've never seen before. I think that's the issue. Like, I think oh, like something you never even noticed about yourself. Something that you never noticed about yourself. All my like cons, people have like said some sh like I know at this point. Like what? Like, she's <laughs> <laughs> like actually I have to go. <laughs> she's like actually wait pause. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm I might. You break? Are you breaking up with them? Mm, depends on it. Oh. Yeah, it just depends, bro. I would have to yeah. bring it up, though, for sure. You're bringing it up? You're not it's, keeping it yourself? It's a potential break. If I saw it, dude, I'd be fucking... Would you grab it and be like, what the fuck is this? I'd be like, hey, can I talk to you? Um, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be pissed. I'd be like, damn. I'd be upset. Yeah, Maria, what are we doing? I feel like this is similar to the notes app thing. Mm, exactly. Because a lot of girls, I feel... Oh, fuck. Fuck. Well, you already told us about it, though. I already told y'all, yeah. but... but, if you find but is that, that, like, something that goes in there, though? That's probably uh, is going to be in the notes app. Yes, but I feel like for that, I don't know. I'm not speaking for everybody, but I feel like that's when, like, you're first talking to a guy. I feel like, mm -hmm. you know, but, like, when you're a boy, when you, it's like, you guys are dating, dating, like, boyfriend and girlfriend, like, relationship. I feel like it's weird if you keep, like, a notebook of, like, pros and cons still. True. How come you have to write it down, though? Hmm? How come you guys have to, like, write it down? No, Loki, I've, I've never done that before. I've never done that no. either. So when I heard that, I was like, girl, like, 
just remember it. So no, some girls are wild. And no, it's because bro. some girls like to organize their shit. Yeah, like like, like when we post when they have that. Too many yeah, y'all are weird. When we post, <laughs> girls are weird. <laughs> girls are weird. That's why I've never kissed one. Um. Anyways, uh, when I posted that thing about the notes app thing, not nah, all the comments were just like, yeah, like there's just too many to remember. Like I need to like figure out co- like compare and com- contrast. And I'm like, damn. Compare and contrast. Yeah. That's wild. But yeah, I would feel some type of way. Okay. Next one. Yes. Uh, so this person said, this isn't that crazy, but one time I wanted to get back at my ex and I was at Universal Studios that day. So I asked a random guy in line if I could take a picture with him. The guy was pretty hot, so I knew that would get my ex mad. I posted it on my story with the song Draco by Future. Draco season with the book bag. Nah. <laughs> you're you're fumbled foul. It, you're, fumbled foul. It. you're like that. That, that, that looks bad on you, bro. That night, he called me at least 15 times crying, asking who that guy was. That's fucked up, bro. That's pretty fucked up. That's fucked up. What did the boyfriend do anything? It doesn't sound like it. Damn. Just I wanted to get back at my ex. That's what she said. Yeah, it's, it's probably that's just like he probably, probably just broke up. Mm-hmm. That's like that's like doing the most. That's the doing that a is, lot. Like my ex tried getting back to me, like getting back at me like that, like posting a girl like as soon as we po- like broke up. But that just like made me more like okay, like, like yeah. right? I wouldn't want. Yeah, it makes yeah, me want, not want you anymore. That's what I realized, I mean? y'all. Like. If y'all be doing stuff like that right after the breakup, trying to get back at whoever, like your like ex, noticeably that low key like backfires, and they're like, it oh, does shit. backfire. It does backfire. Like, what it is you like, doing? Like, but I think I think people who are like obsessive or immature, it, it it's gonna like make them want to call you, be like, yo, like what the fuck? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it does happen. Like you hear about people, like we've seen it in action where like a girl is talking to another guy, oh, yeah, like, and the ex is like, who the fuck is that? You like know if I, mean? I saw like somebody like random on my feed, and like I knew they were dating somebody for like a long time. And then I saw them post like another guy, like you know what I mean, like yeah. right away. I'd be like, uh, "You're like you're weird, bro. Like, why would you do that?" Because I, I would already know the yeah. situation. I'd be like, "You're trying to do too much." Yeah, you're doing too yeah. much. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. See, I can never do that, like something like that, because, like, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like if I was in that situation and I did something like that, like I'd get fucking roasted, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah kind of yeah. how you said, like people know most deaf. Yeah. So like bro. most deaf, like not everything worked out for whoever did that. Damn. Okay. Next one. Uh, oh, this one's this one's pretty wild. <laughs> Five years ago, I was hooking up with two guys at the same time. I was on some ho shit and didn't use a condom. Fucked them both on the same night and got chlamydia. Oh, I no. think guy number one gave it to me, but I gave it to guy number two. I gaslit guy number two and wow. told wow. and told Fuck him Fuck he up. gave it to me. I knew he was sleeping around too. Anyway, fast forward to the present day. I am now dating guy number two and never told him the truth. I, I think it'd be. <laughs> I, th- I think what is in the past should be left there. Lol. Damn. Nah, you know though. You know. Do you think he got it? I mean, if, if he was fucking other girls, then yeah. But if he wasn't, then he knows. You know yeah, but he. Yeah. I, it sounds like he said that she was. He yeah, was going around she too. Said that he was. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild, bro. That, that is really pretty wild. Up, but though. on her defense, though, like she didn't know for sure if it was guy number one. It could have been guy number two. No, she said. She said she. Knew. She said guy. She I said think she said I think guy number one gave it to me, but I. I she gave it to guy number two. I gassed the guy number two. Uh, I gassed the guy number two. That's see, cool. that's what I'm saying. Or that's guy number one could have given it to guy number two. Mm. Oh, this is like a triangle. Triangle love. <laughs> yeah, actually. There's a song, there's okay. A song All right, next one. <laughs> we only got like four more of these. Okay. My my boyfriend and I did this threesome with one of his homeboys, and I didn't know my boyfriend was bi till he started giving head to his homeboy. <laughs> Holy shit! Damn. To his homeboy? <laughs> to his homeboy. And they basically didn't pay attention to me. I was third wheeling, so I broke up with him. And two years later, I found out they're in a relationship. Girl, <laughs> as you Whoa. should. Imagine as how like, wild That's that'd wild. be. That's like, wild. If I was left out during a threesome, I'd That's be like, bye. Like, no. And the biggest part is that she was like caught off guard. Yeah, she was like, oh, She had no shit. idea. Like, Bro, that's his wild. His homeboy? It's like... It's like She's like, yeah, I'm about to get both. <laughs> and then they're just in the corner. She's like, <laughs> can you imagine that? Like talking about there's something being like, yeah, my boy, uh, my boy can come through. Yeah, like sliding. I trust my boy. He's like, right now, yeah. <laughs> and then that happens. Damn, that's crazy. That's traumatizing. That's traumatizing that's for gotta sure. Be. Yeah. yeah. Key, Would you yeah. wait? It was it was his his girlfriend. It was his girlfriend. And he was gonna let his oh, homeboy <laughs> hit. I don't think like, that was a problem. I don't think that oh, was. Oh, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. All right. Oh, uh, we only got like like four more of these. Okay. Oh, it, okay, this one's like, you got you guys tell me how you feel about this one because I feel like the girls might agree with this one. Okay, my boyfriend doesn't know that I know he's been cheating on me. 
I've known for three months. I haven't broken up with him yet. I've been printing all of the screenshots I have of him cheating <laughs> so I can put them in a gift box and give it to him on our one year anniversary. It's on June 10th. Bro, as a guy, I could say bad bitch energy. That's yeah, bad, bad bitch energy. Oh, can you can you stick through that though, bro? I don't Dude, think I can. The, think when I caught one. my boyfriend or my ex cheating on me, I went through his entire laptop, took videos and like pictures of all his messages, everything. Yeah. I had receipts, and I was low key gonna keep that shit till the right time came up, but like I just couldn't hold it in, so I kept that shit in for like a day, and then like the next time I saw him, I just fucking blew up on his that's ass. So like crazy kudos to you for like sticking to it you like, have to be like that's like yeah like evil genius but like boss, boss bitch. okay I, i'm god let's say let's say your anniversary is in like two weeks would you even want to hold it in for two weeks nah, nah. i wanted to but like i couldn't that's like something I couldn't, you need to, I couldn't. Yeah, you and you have to like act like everything's chilling too. You the acting them, part, like, act yeah. like you love Can them. You Especially that? like seeing him every day and like living with him. Like I couldn't hold it in. Like nah, I'd obviously be like wild. acting weird. Yeah. Yo, you know what? Yeah. Shout out! Hey, shout out to you! Shout out to you! Yeah. Like, that's wow. fucking. Nuts. Tell us how it goes though. Say to us the follow up. She's like, wow. anniversary in four months. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. One time, my boyfriend was eating my coochie from behind, and I fried it in his face, and he said it adds flavor. <laughs> Damn. Good guy. He's like, good mm. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. Um, let me see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to read this. <laughs> no, he's like, mmm, spaghetti. <laughs> Did you have a dinner? <laughs> That's good. Okay. Um, I went out with a guy, and he ended up sleeping with my cousin. She's a Jehovah Witness. So out of spite, I told her pastor about what she did. Damn. <laughs> Honestly, as you should. I nah, do the fuck same yeah. You're thing. disrespecting somebody else at that point. Yeah. I would okay. do the same fucking thing. Um, I dated a guy about two years ago for the sole purpose of me trying to sleep with his dad. When I tell you this man was the A1 Dilf, definitely did not regret it. We broke up recently because he found out. <gasps> Bitch, dude, that's foul. dude, how like, like how does a dad do that though? You know what I mean? How does the girl do that too? I mean, the dad is, but the dad I, I, is, I, I, yeah, yeah, is so all, wrong. Like you know that. what I mean? That yeah. is so wrong. The dad is definitely at way more fault. Way more. However, fault. as a girlfriend to your boyfriend, Hold how do you go? Damn, I'm gonna fuck his dad. But she no, dated him too fake solely for yeah, that exactly. purpose. So for it's mainly purpose. her fault. Yeah, so for like that just purpose. fuck the dad. Like why do you gotta go to somebody that's else's that's heart to do that? You're like ruining Wait, a family. Yeah. This is making me lose hope in like humanity right now. Wait, I have no hope yeah. in humanity yeah, right dude, now. That's crazy though. I did not even like know people actually do that. That's why it's like pulling my mind. There's right a now. lot of those. Yeah, I know. That's so crazy. I haven't heard one one actually I never mind. Gave gave a fake plan B to my trap wife. Wow. Oh. Don't, wait, 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 wait. I said that wrong. Gave a fake plan. <laughs> oh my God. Gave a fake plan B to trap my wife. Oh. oh. That I, is I was like, wild. Trap. That's wild. What is it? Like a Mentos or something? Yeah. I don't fucking know. I don't even know what a fake plan B looks like. Yeah. It's like Baby Advil or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? That's like fucked up. That's, That's really fucked, fucked, up. Really fucked up. Ladies go buy your own plan All right. B. All right. This is the last one. <laughs> Me and my tia fucked on Mexico and <laughs> fucked in Mexico <laughs> and, and never Wait. told tia. Tia, me his and my tia, my his tia. aunt. What? Me and my tia fucked in Mexico and never told anyone until my sister caught us and told our family. But we didn't care. Now we are happily married and a baby on the way. That's a fucking lie. Hey, I no, I think that was cap. I think that was cap. I don't know, man. It don't sound like cap. That baby is gonna. He's gonna come out one eye, bro. Man's gonna it's look gonna like you're Mike super funny. Hey, you guys. Mike went out. This is gonna be the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Hey, I'm baby. <laughs> hey, I'm That's a baby. baby. That's fucking wild. The baby. Oh, that baby's gonna look like, just like you. <laughs> That's wild. Not nah, um, yeah, but yeah, guys, that basically wraps up the confessions. Um, y'all are crazy, bro. Yeah, you guys need some oh, help. Yeah. Maybe some therapy groups or something, but. I don't know. Maybe I'll read the other half next week because this really. My God, I don't even know. I have no words to explain <laughs> yeah, some of these. No. Some of them were even crazy in this, but I didn't even put it in because I was like, I don't know about all that. Uh, okay. Um, that crazy. But other yeah, than so that, leave a comment down below if your story was read. <laughs>
<laughs> Can you imagine if someone claims which one was the worst? Oh, which the one was the worst one? one? The all one got to be hey, the I'll worst one. Hey, bro, what the fuck? Can you imagine I get a DM? He's like, this is my tia, now my wife, and this is our kid. Shit. Like, I mean, have to, good for you, but as long as you found love. No, 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 no. No. But incest is not it. Incest is what, Devin? Hey, the- <laughs> I don't want to say it anymore. Incest is what, Devin? It's true. I don't want to say it anymore. Devin, incest is what? It's like you say it as a joke, but then you want to yeah. say it. It's like it's real. Like what? <laughs> Yeah. Incest is what, Devin? I don't want to finish that. Lose cess. It's you know, the opposite of what you said. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Yeah, I'm going to have me say it. You say it. I don't want to say it. I can't it. say it. You want to say it? it? What's incest? What's incest, Marty? Oh, you guys say <laughs> it. You say it. Incest is wincest. Oh. No. Yes. Other than that, though, guys, we're going to answer a couple more questions and yes. then we're basically going to wrap this podcast up. Does that sound like a plan? Yes. That's a big chunk. What are we at right now? Uh, We're at 49. Really? Already? 49 minutes. That felt minutes. like 25 minutes. Yeah, that felt really short, honestly. That did. Yeah, I, but yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do like a part two next week. High something like that. Speed chase. Huh? Running from two different cars, beefing with two different sides, swinging on two different blocks. Mm, pull a bunny block and I bleed it. Slide. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia, hey, Cynthia, walk. Cynthia goes to Fresno for like a week and now she thinks she's hood. Huh. Uh, hey, yo, Cynthia, Cynthia, tell them, tell them who your favorite rapper is right now. Oh, my oh don't God. say it. You do not say it on the podcast. Cynthia, don't. don't. We're going to get fucking ran <laughs> up on. Tell them, tell them who your favorite rapper is now that you went to Fresno. Um, the baby. <laughs> no, not the baby. Biggie Smalls. Don't say it. Nick, we're going to get fucking blasted, bro. I'm not the one who said it. I'm not saying it. It's your podcast, man. Say it. Quando Rondo. <laughs> oh, you can't put that God. in. Wait, What's why can't we put it in? Are you dead ass though? You like his music? You don't? No. You know, I asked her, I was like, would you slide for phone? She said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what it meant. What is AA? Hey, what does ABG mean? Yeah. Anybody can get it, bitch. Straight up. That's crazy. Your favorite rapper right now is Quando Rondo. No, nah, I'm just kidding. No, nah, oh, he's okay. just saying that because I played one song. You should like one song about Quando Rondo in the car. Still. Yeah. Is that what they listen to in Fresno? That's what they Bro, to, they man. listen to like a lot of like Bay Area rap yeah. and like 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 underground shit. Not really. No, it's like that. Yeah, it's like that. It's like Keith, that. Keith. Okay, well, I can fuck like, with Fresno then. Yeah, no, like Mozzie <laughs> Blast. How would you how would you explain like Bay Area, Bay Area rap? Because Bay Area rap doesn't like have a specific this. sound. It does. It's just you just <laughs> if you can sneeze to it. It's Bay Area yeah, true, rap. True. True. I mean, fucking say like you. Rumble? Okay, I I don't believe that shit because this man was getting sturdy to Pitbull in the club. That is fucking tough. He was getting sturdy to Pitbull. That shit was crazy though. And afterwards, a girl came up and asked for his number. What song? No. <laughs> what, what were they? What were they? What Time were they? I think they were doing. No, I think it was Hotel. Yeah, it was Hotel. Thank you to my hotel. Room. Dude was like, dude was like, <laughs> we get the hotel, hotel <laughs> holiday. Oh no. Yeah, bro. That was crazy. Nice. Damn, and the girl in the corner was just like. No. He can get he it. Can get it. <laughs> oh my God, it's a pit bull. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> okay, I'm getting right. sturdy. Hey. Okay, let me get, get first question. Let me get, <laughs> let me get first question of the night, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay, to the ladies, to the ladies. Would you guys care if a guy pulled up to a first date wearing sandals? Yes, yes, don't, yes. Open toed shoes and yes. shorts. That is wild. Maria? You're going out to dinner. And he's wearing open-toed shoes. Man, you know what? Nah, let's see he's wearing sandals with jeans. Ooh, that's... Well, I mean, what else would he be wearing? Man? Shorts. Man, I think honestly, that's a whole lot better than jeans. I feel like if you're attractive, it's all good. <laughs> what are we thinking? No open-toed shoes on the first date. I would... Like, what is your question? Would I care? Of course the fuck I would care. What if they were nice, though? Like, he got a pedicure. Like, you know, they don't, they're not disgusting toes, though. So what? You're wearing Birkenstocks to dinner, like a fancy mm. restaurant? What are you doing? Like, True. I'm, I'm going to be, like, dressing up. Actually, if it's a fancy restaurant, that's another story. Okay. Yeah, I would say something like... Or, Open I don't... Would I say something? I don't think I have the balls to say something about it, though. I just peep it, like... Yeah, I wouldn't say... I probably wouldn't say <laughs> would you Would you be looking at it all night? Would you be looking at them all night? <laughs> like, I don't just be ah. like... I would like avoid. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. What if he's like? What if he puts his like feet up on the chair next to you? It spreads on like. It oh. spreads on. He's like, damn, it's a little hot, dude. <laughs> I'm spread him yeah. I'm <laughs> Yes, flying squirrel. I gotta make it situational. Yes. One. <laughs> I was say something. Okay, go, go. One. What if he has nice toes? Okay. Takes good what? care of them. And they're not hairy. They're not hairy. They're just not. You like those are some cute toes. 
They're not cute. They're just kept. First of all, I've never seen a guy with like cute toes. Like Wait, even if they're my n- toes aren't that bad. Dude, your toes are disgusting. <laughs> what the your fuck toes are, are wrong with my toes? You ever seen when Squidward gets his nail ripped off <laughs> yeah. on the couch? Yeah, that's what your feet remind me of. <laughs> What? How? <laughs> no, but your toes are actually nasty. How are my toes gross, bro? They're just long. Yeah. They're you be nasty. slapping the ground. But that's Don't you bite them? <laughs> no, you bite them. No, I was just playing. When he walks, he slaps the ground. <laughs> they, I don't slap the ground, guys. I don't have flat feet. I don't you have flat feet. You could for sure high five somebody with those toes, bro. Most deaf. Wait, that's low key probably attractive. No, no okay, oh. guys, don't have like, no guy have has like pretty feet. They're just like well kept or not, but they're not. Clearly, haven't seen mine. Yeah, I don't think I've <laughs> ever out. seen like cute men <laughs> feet. Mm. But why though? Some of them are like fine, you know. Why? But though? I'm never like ah, oh, like your toes, man. Like you know. What if he pulls out the double standard thing? He's like, well, you're wearing sandals. <laughs> That's the thing. I wouldn't wear sandals. Oh, let's say you do though. Let's say you wear, go out to like a nice fancy dinner and you're wearing like... Well, know, I'm wearing like open toe like wedges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that's so different. Okay. No, but at least like okay. I can see yours. Why can't All you right. just see mine? But also I wouldn't say anything yeah. about it. Hey, let's <laughs> say you're dating a guy and he always steps out in open toed shoes. Mm. Will that bother you? Even if he's dressed up nice. Yeah. That would bother you just because you don't want to see them bitches. Like you might lose your appetite. <laughs> is that what we're talking about? Or is it just because like it's just disrespectful? Yeah, like both. Mm. Also, it's like first of all, it's like I don't want to see your toes while we're eating. Ladies. Second of all, it's like dress code, you know. Ladies, pull up on me, open toed shoes. Don't wear socks around me, straight up. Anyways, uh, Madi, what are we thinking? He has a foot fetish. Madi, what are we thinking? <laughs> like, have you changed your mind? Um, if it's both. a fancy restaurant, okay, I would be like, I would peep it too, and I'd be like, okay, that's kind of. But if it's like a first like date. <laughs> Or like it's just a regular ass restaurant. Yeah. I wouldn't really care if it's sandals. How would you guys? Would you guys rather have your man's pull up to every restaurant in sandals, or every time you go to the beach he's wearing socks? Every time I go to the beach he's wearing socks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That shit irks me. Bro, a lot of the time when I go to the beach I'm wearing like sneakers and I'll just take my socks. Off. No, I'm talking about like he's running around the sand in socks. Um, <laughs> Goofy eye, like, dude. That shit. Uh, Pisses me off. Like that Why? shit actually gets my skin crawling. Why? I don't know. I just I can't stand Didn't that. Didn't you do it when we were playing football? No. Also, I could have sworn. No, you didn't. no. Okay. people wear like socks in the sand when they play like soccer, like s- beach soccer. I've never really seen. I've never much. seen someone yeah. play in socks playing beach soccer. Bro, I had a beach soccer tournament. Everyone was wearing socks. That's maybe for wild. the team. I don't think you. I don't think you got. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you guys were that good either. Clearly, you've never been to Europe <laughs> or Brazil. But they were. They were. They were beach soccer socks. What are beach soccer socks? They're like. Oh, water shoes, like the. Kind of, but about. they're more yeah. socks. Okay, okay. If it's made for the sand, then yeah. But yeah. if you're wearing fucking Nike socks on the sand, white Nike socks in the sand, <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking mad. Yeah. I'm gonna get fucking mad. But okay, like obviously that's weird. But your question was, would I prefer that or would I prefer them wearing okay. open toe shoes okay. every time we go out? Okay. Prefer the socks. Okay. Do you guys have like a first date like do's and don'ts for dressing up for dressing? Like, do you, is there anything you guys don't, girls, is there anything you guys don't want to see on a first don't date? Don't wear basketball shorts. Don't wear sandals. Sorry, I just have a lot. Okay, yeah, go. No, the thing is, I was going to say, I don't have anything, so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're attracted, you can pull up in a fucking construction suit. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I'll think of something as Cynthia's saying hers. Okay. Question. Jorts. Jorts are, mm. jorts are fire. Don't, just don't wear, bas- I don't like when guys wear like basketball shorts. Like baggy ones? Nothing below the knee. Nothing below the knee. What if they're like cool ones? Yeah, what if they're like, um. Like short? Like, like and one ones. Like That's cool. Yeah, right? But it's, it can't be basketball shorts below the <laughs> Dude, I look, he got flashbacks so. when like the water splashed on me. <laughs> 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 I don't think anything I don't think anything below the knee looks good if it's shorts if it's shorts stop wearing below the knee yeah yeah mm. what are we thinking do you guys do you guys have any like I don't have any don'ts when it comes to a girl on a first date less. yeah also, you're just gonna catch me wearing like a floral button up every time that's about that's it that's cool I think also because like I just like dressing up everywhere we yes. go out. Yes, agreed. And so if my boyfriend's Doesn't just like you. in chonklas and basketball shorts, it's like, bro, mm. like, <laughs> the Nike on. slides, the Nike slides on a first oh, date. Uh, the Jordan oh, wow. slides, Jordan slides are tough. Fuck you it. have them. Yeah, the red ones are the B, bro. <laughs> Fuck, dude, they're B, bro. <laughs> no, I know they're fucking B, bro. You it's know, so you've had them since like sophomore year, bro. Those, bro. Fuck, <laughs> I would hoop in those whenever I didn't have shoes. I'm like, all right, fuck, it, I'll play. I run like two games. You sure? you sure? 
They're Jordans, bro. Look at that. They actually have grip, though. That's a crazy oh, part. Yeah. Oh. Still? They have, they have grip, yeah. Is it, is it your toes gripping it, or is it actually nah, the shoes like the that are gripping it? Grip okay. on the bottom, you ever yeah. run in the Sandal Park? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Shirt. Let me hear it. Um, huh. V-neck shirts. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, please, if you're a guy, just don't wear V-neck, <laughs> no. V-neck shirts. Hey, V-neck shirts were the shit for a little bit. So how come it looks different than when like you're wearing like an open collar shirt? Let's say I was, this is a collar shirt, and I wear my shit open oh, like yeah. this. Open Why does it look different than a V-neck? Because it's a collar. Yeah. Say it's more like nice casual with the yeah. collar. That's, bro, That's V-necks cool. were sh- the you shit for a little bit. Shit. The deeper they were... Fuck. Oh. I see some guys with shit like all the way down. I know. She was crazy. Fucking like little chest hair. Yeah. <laughs> we're the like shit. Like when we were in junior high. Yeah. Like when we're in, no. Like when we we're in junior I high, I had a couple. V-necks. I had a couple, bro. Wait, kids in our junior high. Yeah. Were I was wearing V necks. I remember like a lot of older heads were wearing V necks too. Junior high, right? I was too with like my red skinny. Oh no, I was talking about like sixth grade. Yes. Junior high, sixth grade. It was Neff shirts and V necks for me. Yeah. Damn. You don't remember that? Motherfuckers was wearing V necks for a minute. Yeah. It was definitely a thing for guys. I I haven't seen. I haven't seen a V-neck in a minute. I haven't seen a V-neck yeah. in a minute, which I'm very glad. It looks good on girls, but it's just it doesn't hit the same on my guys. My brother can rock him though. V-necks? <laughs> my brother Nick? <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. My bro- I think, so, I think I've seen him with a V-neck actually. Yeah, he looks fucking cool. dope in V-neck, yeah. But he's bro. fucking built. He's big, yeah. yeah. He's a big boy though. He's yeah. built. Yeah, he's all tatted up now on the arm, so I'm like, you go, dude. So, yeah, yeah. See, I guess it just depends on the person. Though. But it's very rare that somebody can rock one nowadays. True. Are you, you have another one? Maybe beanies. What? You don't like beanies? That's some guy's shit though. Yeah. Like some guys like they they rock a beanie. That is true. That is true. Never mind. I can rock a beanie. I think I can rock a beanie. Maybe like Mada's thinking about like her her type. Oh. Which type? I don't know. I don't have a type. (laughs) Would you guys care if the guy kept his like hat on inside like at dinner? No. You don't care? Mm -hmm. Would you care, Madu? No. Not at all? Okay. What's up, guys? I just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. Um, Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring this podcast to you guys for free on all platforms. Our first sponsor of the night is actually going to be StoryWorth. So with Mother's Day around the corner, I'm pretty sure we can all reflect back and think about all the stories that our mothers have told us throughout our lives. I thought I knew my mom better than anyone else. One day we were chatting and I heard a story I've never heard before. That got me wondering, how many other stories don't I know? That's why I got my mom, StoryWorth. StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your loved ones connect through sharing stories and memories and preserves them for years to come. Every week, StoryWorth emails your mom a thought-provoking question of your choice from a vast pool of possible options. Each unique prompt asks questions you've never thought of, like what's some of the best advice your mother ever gave you? Or if you were to do it all over, what would you do differently? Mom just said she would be rich if she didn't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> they never say that? That's true, though. Think about it. Fuck. Shit's a lot of money, dude. For instance, some of the best advice my mom ever gave me from StoryWorth was actually just learning how to be independent, how independency can actually be one of the best things a young adult can learn in their life. After one year, StoryWorth compiles all those questions and stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book the whole family can share for generations. So the next time Christmas comes around, you guys can all gather together and share stories with each other. Give all the moms in your life a meaningful gift that you will enjoy for years. StoryWorth. Right now, for a limited time, you'll save $10 on your first purchase when you go to storyworth.com slash rancho. That's S-T-O-R-Y W-O-R-T-H dot com slash rancho to save $10 on your first purchase. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this podcast. Guys, I have I a question. I have a generally like fashion question. Okay. Um, do hats look good with a button up? Mm, I'm trying to think if it could you know work. What I mean? Like a polo? Possibly. No, not a polo, a button up. Polo? I feel like that's worse. You know how golfers imagine that? You got a little polo. You know how golfers wear polos and a hat? Yeah. That's but you have to have the whole attire oh. for that though. You can't I'm just I'm thinking wear, about like, the polos you used to wear. Yes, <laughs> imagine like not a button. A baggy yeah. polo <laughs> with like a hat. A trucker hat. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would look good, I think. <laughs> no, yeah. Devin, did you hear me? Sorry. Imagine like a baggy button up with like a trucker hat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Different. Yeah. Like like but yeah, he's talking about like dress. Are you talking about like? Wait, would you say? You're not talking about like a long sleeve dress shirt, though, are you? Or are you just talking about like a really short sleeve button up? Actually, I have a question. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what if you like? Roll, it's like a casual like long sleeve, but you roll up the sleeves with like a like a snap bag or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like backwards, like backwards at. If for for like a beach day for a beach day yeah that look cool yeah I mean that's like what I dress like yeah yeah, yeah. for a beach day that'd be cool it really depends what kind of hat what okay. hat it yeah. is and what Most shirt it is. yes definitely but I think of. it could work 
Does a guy look better when he's wearing a long sleeve dress shirt when it's down or when it's rolled up? What's better? Down. Down. Really? Wait, down, down. I sometimes feel like I look a lot better when it's rolled up to like right here. Do I roll up on the boat? I feel like the shit. Yeah, and sometimes I feel like you can see my veins better. No, and like okay. I look like when, the shit. When you're talking about like a boat, you can like roll it up. But if we're yeah. talking about like a fancy dress shirt, like mm. I want to see your cuffs and shit, you know? Ah. Ooh, the cufflinks. Do you guys yeah. notice like cufflinks and shit like that? Oh, hell yeah, when that shit's like clean really? as fuck. And it's like, it's just like sharp. Like It's, it's crisp. Cl- it's crisp, yeah. Ah. But when I you mean, roll it up, it's like all like true. wrinkled. True, it's all wrinkled. That, that's true. Maria, do you know that? No. Do you guys notice like the slightest details that a guy has or does? Yeah. yeah. Down to like the socks that he wears. Down to the socks, jewelry, mm. hairstyle that day. Yeah, if I really like him, I do be noticing stuff. How, okay, how much like do you guys pay attention like on a first date when it comes to like which like side does he walk on on the sidewalk? Do you guys notice that? Yeah. Mm, the sidewalk no. rule. I never did. I never did, and then the guy I'm currently talking to, he always, he never lets me walk on the, on the outside. Part. The, the where the cars where are coming, car. right? Yeah. And how do you feel about that? And I was like, green flag, like wow. You notice that if a guy's walking on the side of the street where the cars are coming from? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just because it makes you feel safer? It's like, I I think I noticed it ever since like the first guy ever did it to me, and then after that. Like I notice it when I'm walking on the street side, and he doesn't ask to switch. Yeah, same. Yeah, it's like you never really like notice that stuff until someone shows you, and you're like, from yeah. then on, you have that standard. Exactly. Do you guys? Do you guys be like asking like, "Yo, let's switch" or anything like that, or like, "Yeah, yeah. I'll pull her over." Like, no. nah. Yeah. To be honest, no. Because I was <gasps> like, <laughs> <laughs> sage, I not like, sage. I didn't, really, I, I didn't really think about it at first because I was like, yeah. I just got told this yeah. the other day. Actually, like it was yeah. like two days ago. And called out by your girl? Wait, called out by your girl? Or it's like, called the sidewalk rule. Did you know yeah. that? No, I knew about it, but I was just like, because honestly, I saw a bunch of cars pulling out like where we were, like on the side, like where I was like, wait, hold on, wait. Well, you, well let, let's think about it. No. Let's think about it. You got, you got to be kind of like, what are you, what are you doing? Is she really going to jump in the street if I'm not like on the side of the cars? You know what I'm saying? You look to get close. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm like, well, are you, really are you just going to jump in the street? Like, do I really need to stop you from like, jumping in? I, no, I'm just kidding. Nah, I, I do understand that. My mom told me that a long time ago, but I just never really like paid yeah, attention to it. it's just like a safety it. thing. Because I haven't had a girl in fucking forever. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, like I, nothing really came to mind like right away. But I mean, eh. But what'd she say? Did she say something to you? Like, she's like, mom. oh, red flag. <laughs> I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's cute. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, she's funny, though. Yeah, at least she's telling you, like, yeah, jokingly, huh? Yeah, I feel comfortable yeah, yeah. walking on the sidewalk, like, th- that side, like that, because I know if a car hit me, it'd probably split in half. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I would just be like, literally. Like, it would just hit my hands. I could just fall stand apart. there and like, it yeah. would just go straight. <laughs> yeah. and, like, just I would half. just face through it. Honestly, yeah. I would just face He's through it. He's seen it happen. Yeah, I, I don't seen know it. why you're laughing. No, so I remember seeing the video. I remember seeing the video. Yeah. Um, it's my, it was on my old phone though. I've never like. <laughs> I didn't back it up to iCloud. <laughs> I've never like. I don't. I don't ever tell like a girl that I'm walking on the sidewalk to switch on the street. But I do say like if we're walking past like a group of dudes though, I will be like slide over a little bit. Yeah, or something you, like that. I I noticed you always do that like to me too. Yeah, I'll cause like cause like I'm although I'm like are you just gonna run in the street like you know like <laughs> Wait, why do what? I need to stop you? like if I I I, always, I never do it so when I'm walking oh. with a girl when we're walking by the car because I'm like you're just gonna run in the street like Wait run in there. the street I'm so lost sorry but we can move on no we're just saying like like why would you even get hit by a car like are you just gonna go run out there in the street and like get what, hit by a car? what what's oh, yeah, me like, what's me like standing <laughs> there am i really gonna stop a car from hitting you yeah, real talk, real talk, if i get hit <laughs> you're, coming, you're coming, coming with me if i was a man personally i wouldn't let let a car hit you hit me. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, what am i gonna do oh, fucking oh, teleport it like honestly, 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 get out of the way if no. I'm walking with a girl and I see a car coming, I'm grabbing her. I'm being like that. And I'm putting her in front of me. I need my first line of defense there, bro. Um, God. Okay, That's now I'm lost. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's crazy. That should be the bare minimum. Stop the car. Like, literally stop, stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop. Damn, the bar is so low. I can, just, I can just fucking see, like, like Devin or Sage, just like a car, seeing a car coming, the girl's right there, and it's like, <laughs> Manu, Manu really said that's the bare minimum of stopping a car. Like, I do this, I do this. The fucking samurai get absolutely bodied. Oh can we can we like tone down to ADHD a little bit? Sorry. Just a little bit. Oh, oh. It's just like, mm. is there like is there like another like like s- small thing I guess or like semi small thing that you guys notice that like let's say a guy does for you guys that we haven't named besides like the sidewalk thing? Yes, a lot. Opening car doors is one. Another one Maria. is like Maria. oh. 
Opening car doors, car doors is one. Also, another that's one. Obvious, that's like a fucking given at this point. Red yeah, <laughs> at this point it is. I didn't know that was the bare minimum, but I learned that is the bare minimum. Not thing. even like do- like car doors, but like doors. Yeah, doors. Doors. Oh, yeah. doors is the bare minimum. Car doors, like, you don't have to get every time, but like mm. open car doors for girls. Every time. <laughs> yeah. Another one is like when you guys go eat and then they pull out the chair for you. Ooh, I. That's fine. I am a victim. I've never done that before. We'll do it because it's like, okay. dude, like guys, just do it because it doesn't yeah. hurt you. But the girl would be like, "Fuck yeah, like right? just do it." Yeah, Wait, yeah. you guys, you know what's so funny though? The first time he did it, I was like, "Oh, so you're gonna see?" I was like, "I was like, I thought he was gonna say." I was like, "Oh, I thought, I thought you, <laughs> I thought we were gonna face to face because I was already like." But he pulled it and he was like, "No, I'm pulling this out for you." And I was like, "Oh." What if I'm not strong you know enough what? to like push her back in the table though? <laughs> No, you you push oh, no. it as she's sitting down. You don't even know how to uh, do it, bro. Well, my bad. I, I admitted that I've never done it before. You don't push her as she's sitting down. <laughs> I thought she sits down and then You're I push like, her in. Oh, no. <laughs> just like, just they just the see table. me. <laughs> they just see me. Hey, yo, can I get some help, my guy? I fucking asked one of the waiters to help me push you in. <laughs> can I get some help, my guy? Um, I can't think of anything else. You guys have anything? Can you think of something else? Um, can you guys think of something small that a girl might do? Like for you specifically i was wondering pick up the check i was just thinking <laughs> of the last podcast pick up the check <laughs> jesus hey, once in a while you can pick up the check right? actually i was gonna but, say that but yeah like, that that is a that is I you should pick up the check sometimes don't I expect it do oh yeah. like pay yeah i like paying i'm not gonna lie yeah yeah but like um i think it's like when they make it fair in paying for dinner yeah, like i i definitely love being the one like i'm paying yeah but if she like swipes my card i'm like fuck yeah, yeah you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The one not because i didn't want to pay <laughs> yeah. the one thing i will say is like the like the couple dates that i've been on like over the years i haven't had a date where a girl like the check came and a girl was like just i got sat it there no yeah. no no, no. Oh. It's, it's like it's like different like i've never gone on a date where a girl kind of just sat there and like didn't say anything about the check they're always like oh like i got it or like when i take it they'll be like oh like do you just like should i help or something like that i never had a girl kind of just like blow it off really have you I guys think, uh, yeah i've never had a date where a girl be like oh like let me get that really really mm-hmm. were you were you dating girls in the ie <laughs> <laughs> what is it with you and well, ie girls well, you don't have money or something <laughs> <laughs> she said oh i thought you're you broke, find that you're broke <laughs> or something dude <laughs> like you're saying you've never had a girl I, the, just the, sh- you saying you never had a girl just like stand there? Yeah, like like a girl that expected me to pay like right off the bat. You feel me? I've always been on a date with a girl where she like at, there's See, said something about. That's it. like a bit strange because if a guy offers to pay for me, I'm not gonna be like hey yo yo like every single time. Yeah. No, I'll just yeah. sometimes I'll accept it and just yeah. say like thank you after. Yeah. Well, you know? actually, one time, one time, one time they paid for their own. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But like, is, if I if my heart is set on paying, sorry, sorry. <laughs> if my <laughs> just can't win. It's okay, man. It's okay. I'm dead. <laughs> Devin, if if my heart is set on paying, <laughs> you thought you were gonna let him talk right now. <laughs> did. He did. Damn. I definitely thought I was gonna be able to talk. Here we go right again. Now. Carry on. Huh? No, it's really quick. If my heart is set on paying, I'll pay. But if my heart is not set on paying, I won't pay. Like you got it. But okay. I'll I'll pay. Okay. 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 Good. Yeah, but um, Devin's <laughs> 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 no, like, so just want to put a hoodie on and fly away, bro. You gotta do it, Devin. I'll jump out this window right now. Damn it, you could fly. fly. He can fly. <laughs> Sorry, I needed another I group. Fly. Another member in the group to feel how I feel. That's true. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> solid, Madu. Solid, solid. Go ahead, Devin. I'm okay, so um, <laughs> he forgot. Yeah, he forgot. No, I got it. I got it. It's coming back. <laughs> okay, what I was gonna say was. My first instinct is to always grab the check. Like I, I love to pay. Yeah. I love to. Facts. Yeah. But what, like, how you said the green light that I noticed, like, what makes me like that much more interested is when they're like, like, no, you paid last time. It's sure? my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll always be like, are you sure? Like, I, will, I, I definitely, I definitely always want to pay. But it's the fact that like they don't let me. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what I'm like. Well, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Not letting me pay. I guess I instead of like being girl. like, okay, I'll let you pay. You know what I mean? Yeah. As a girl, you have to like let kind of let them pay yeah yeah in a sense and like when you want to pay you have to not let them pay. yeah yeah I, I just say that for girls that if you're on a date with a guy that you like a lot um 
just saying that or the action of being like oh like let me let me help out or like the action of you being like oh like I, i'll pay for it literally is crazy bro just it makes them it de- i feel like guys i feel like guys notice that for sure oh mm-hmm. i feel like every guy's gonna notice he's that. gonna be way more attracted to you yeah for sure i like paying for my mans honestly i do were you gonna say yeah i heard thing? a lot like besides the check sorry <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, I like David. to pay for all the cheap <laughs> shit so that when we go out for expensive dinners, he's paying. So I'll pay for like smoothies, dessert. But he got the Nobu. <laughs> Top he ramen? Nobu. He got the Nobu. <laughs> so don't worry. Like, I got I it. Got it. It's like, he's it's like, like, it's only $3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like wraps, I got it. Movies? Lighters, I got it. Have you seen the memes where it's like when I get the $60 dinner and she gets the, the $5 dessert? And it's like, it's like mommy. <laughs> I see that. I fucking love that sound, bro. I mean, mommy, mommy, mommy. Mm, it's, it's been a year, daddy. Have you seen that one? Yeah. No, I have the not seen that one, bro. What? Have you seen him see that when they're like, oh, when you're doing like laundry and like you got that one sock, it's like, <laughs> like, oh, daddy, it's been a year. Have you not seen that? Nah, I haven't seen that. I know you're talking about. Wait, can you elaborate? I'm confused. You no, know that so one like, sock. It would be like, like the one sock. The one sock. You know the sock that it, the, one the one sock that sock. every guy has. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would like the sound was like. It's been a year, Daddy. Like you haven't used me in, like you know what I mean. Oh, like, it's like calling for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, call your kids oh, right. They're calling me. Is there? Yeah. You guys just don't wash it. I don't have one. I don't have one. That's what everyone. That's what weird. every guy says. I do not have one. I don't have one. No, I don't either. Why do you think I have tissues by my? I fucking knew <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, I was kidding. No, it is though. I have a runny nose. <laughs> no, but you have your lotion next to your okay. tissue. For the one millionth time, I have eczema, dry skin. I need to use it on my body. What does that have to do with tissues? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> no, the lotion. Okay. For what? the amount of years like that your friends have been clowning you about that shit being right next to your bed. Like it was right next to your bed at your okay, parents' you wanna, place you too. Know why? Just move it to okay, your desk. Okay, you want to know why? I genuinely don't care because I genuinely do not use it for that reason. <laughs> so therefore, why would I move it? If one of you guys came at me and was like, bro, your lotion is by you, your bed. If you don't need it by your bed, then move it. I do need it by my bed. Why do you need it by I your bed? I wake up at night with dry ass skin. I have to fucking put it on my body. As soon as you wake up? No, in the middle of the night, I'll wake up scratching. So You're I gotta put lathered, it on my body. Though, bro. When you, before you go to sleep, you're lathered. Yes, yes. I'm lathered. You is it, touch is me. It, is it comfortable? Yes, because I can't sleep if I'm dry, bro. I can't sleep if I'm dry. But like when you get on your bed, it's not like uncomfortable? It's soaked up in my skin by then. Really? Yes. And I think you touched me when I was little, had ointment on too. Yeah, you had a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, but that's okay. why. That's that's that kind of makes sense. You, yes. never, you never explained it like that. I'll tell you now. If you tell a guy, huh? I was going to say, and you have eczema? <laughs> on top of peanut <laughs> allergies? <laughs> And give us an asthma. If you tell your friend, if you clown your friend for having lotion by his bed and then he moves it, that means that he's using it for such shit. But you got a point. If he doesn't move it, it's because he's using it nah, for other reasons. I think you're just doing a power move right now. Hey, you know what? You know what? Maybe he is. He's, <laughs> he's gaslighting. He's yeah. Gaslighting. He's gaslighting, bro. How That's, am I gaslighting? You master gaslighting. manipulator. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did he, what did she say? <laughs> She's calling me a manipulator, bro. Oh, you damn. master <laughs> manipulator. That's a bar. I low key manipulate Madu sometimes. <laughs> you what? What? What'd you say? No, just kidding. Cynthia knows it. What'd you say? What? Anyways, um, can you guys name another thing that a girl can do like on the first date that would make her that would make yeah compliment me as soon as like uh, she sees me like oh, oh you're so man. handsome I'd be blushing oh I'd be I blush blushing. my handsome boy really you yeah. look so handsome to- like, well I'm like so stop. I did that like the last like first date I had or whatever. He said what's wrong with you. <laughs> He said, are you kidding? But it was because I genuinely meant it, but then I, I, as soon as I said it, I was like, damn, did he think I was like a fucking like... Nah. Like, nah, he definitely took it into okay, like, like damn. Yeah. That, I felt so awkward after saying it because I just like felt it, so I said it, but I was like, yeah. damn, shit. Nah, <laughs> don't feel weird. So when you get called can- handsome, do you sometimes not know how to respond to it? Dude, I have like, are you just like, called, you're just like, like yeah. yeah. No, yeah, it's like, it, the. I was going to say it earlier, that's when you said like, oh, are you going to say something? Like, I didn't realize how much like, like what we were talking about, what we were talking about, like the guys like not really getting too many compliments. Mm-hmm. I rarely, like if, it were, if I were talking to a girl, it's like I would rarely ever get like complimented or say like, oh, like you, you look good today or like, yeah. oh, you look handsome. Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, like it would make me feel like really like, what the fuck? Like, do I really, you know what I mean? Yeah. It would make me question something. Do you like, be complimenting yeah. a lot? Yeah. You know, I didn't really, or like if I'm with a guy who doesn't compliment a lot, I won't compliment a lot. But if I'm with a guy who does compliment me a lot 
it like it what is it like it makes, it makes me want to compliment more so that but isn't that is. isn't that different though because then you just trying to match his energy yeah or maybe you feel guilty yeah like you need to do it you know what i mean no i won't say it like as soon as he says it to me but it's just no am i tripping am i reading too far yeah it is because it's just like i like hearing it it's like maybe like you i realize it more when you're like in it you know what i mean maria have you ever felt like guilty that to the point where you wanted to give a compliment i guess is that even a thing no i just sometimes i stop myself or like or like i like don't really give compliments because usually like i feel like the guy knows like oh you know like, yeah you were talking about it last time yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah but then i recently realized like damn i really i mean guys really don't get compliments because of the podcast we talked about and then like i don't know like but no how do i feel you they definitely know yeah, no, yeah. no, no, not really, no. Low key, I be like, like seventy five percent of the time I step out, I'm not thinking like, damn, I look fucking good. Yeah, I'm thinking like, I'm like insecure. You know what yeah, yeah. I'm not insecure, but like, like not insecure, so not insecure, but like I'm most like, confident, insecure yeah. person you would know. Yeah, but it, like, bro, that's, like, that's me. Say that that's me. The most confident, insecure person you know. No, me. but yeah, exactly. But if I look good and a girl compliments me, I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I fucking know I look good. Yeah, like, no, no what? Like, okay. Yeah, no. I'm like, gonna, and I'm not gonna, no. I'm not gonna think that either. Like, I'm not gonna no. think like, fuck yeah, I look good. Like, I you should be complimenting like, me. Like, no. The compliment throws me off because half the time I, d- I'm not feeling myself. Yeah. Mm. So, when I hear compliment, I'm not used to it because mm-hmm. first of all, I'm not feeling myself. Yeah. So I literally. When I get complimented, I don't know how to respond. I just kind of like, I'm like, <laughs> kind of freeze up. Yeah. Things. Yeah, I freeze up yeah. every time. Yeah. That's the thing. Huh? Sometimes like, <laughs> it makes you uncomfortable, right? Because you're not used to it. Like, oh, uh, yeah. Like, yeah oh, but you oh. really like it in the inside. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I can just see, I just see Marty just saying, thank you. I don't know. I just see him going, like, thank you. And just walking away. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Wait, I do be doing that sometimes. But sometimes I'm like, you're beautiful too. <laughs> that's a good comment. That's a good, that's a good comment. I like that comment. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, next question of the night. Okay, this one's kind of this one's kind of fucked up, but it's also kind of funny. Have you guys ever kissed a girl? <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, if your if you had to choose, if you had to choose, would you rather your partner cheat on you with someone uglier than you or better looking than you? Uglier. Uglier. Um, uglier. Uglier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's that fucked up? Really? Wait, let me think about it. Uglier. Yeah. Uglier. That might make me feel like a little bit weirder. Wait, why can you can you explain? Yeah, because like, okay, look. So let's say I'm dating a girl and she cheats on me with someone who's fucking good looking as shit, right? Mm. I'm like, all right, fine. Yeah, you understand. I'm not gonna understand it, but I'm gonna be like, all right, fine. Like this man's a dime, like, Mm -hmm. blah blah blah. But then if I find out that she cheats on me with someone uglier than me, it's like, was it really worth it? Like, is it worth it? And like, what did I do? Like, but can I explain mine? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's like if they're uglier than me. I just fucking know that guy is just acting on impulse. Later on, they'll regret the shit out of that. Mm-hmm. But if they're prettier than me, like, they're just basically, like, throwing me away and, like, moving on. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. You know? That's changing my mind. Let me hear you guys. What about you guys? Same? If, if they're prettier than me or if they're more handsome than me? Well, because you, said, <laughs> <laughs> I you know. said uglier. You guys all agree that you'd rather them be uglier than me, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you saying for the same reasons or different reasons? Well, I Oh, I didn't get the Wait, let's either. let's finish, Devin. Thanks. Mark. Yeah, I don't want to finish mine. No, no, Devin, finish. Finish. <laughs> if they're more handsome than me, I lost. I lost. Nah. <laughs> it's that simple. Not Seen not Uzi on the football field like this. Like, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> you could be handsomer, but but if, they're like if more you're douchey. A, yeah, douchey and like a fucking fuckboy, like no, you, they didn't win. <laughs> okay, personality does go into it, but like but off right like off the bat, like, yeah, yeah, you see yeah. that. Yeah. I agree with that, Cynthia. Also, it's like let's say like this man cheated on me with like someone with like big ass boobs and like a big ass or something, right? <laughs> I might feel some type of way and be like, damn, <laughs> you yeah, know, because yeah. I compare myself yeah. like, yeah. like. Yeah. Was I not enough? But if they're uglier, I'm like, fuck, you're lost. Bye. You know? <laughs> exactly what Cindy is saying. That's what I'm saying. It, to me, yeah. it's like that simple. Yeah. That's what it is. But it's like, why are you cheating on me with someone uglier, though? I'm like, I don't know. I'm Who like, cares? You won. It is exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. If you win a game but you don't score, you still won. Mm. Mm. I can get that participation trophy. 
Okay, Nick, let me, no. let me say it like this. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, okay. It's like, okay, you cheated on me and you cheated on me with someone ugly. Exactly. But it's like, you know, and Again, then you that you're going to regret it way more. But then like, okay. I feel like, I feel like if you cheated on me with like, I don't know, like a really hot girl or something, yeah. then it's like, it's like, damn. Wait. Like, his point of like you might regret it but then at the same time you might be like yeah but she was hot or something true like i had to do it or something like that or like like men be thinking that way no i don't know i get what she means i get what she means i don't know is it confusing no no, i'm really hot right now okay i understand what you're saying um (laughs) (laughs) like it's hot i'm going crazy (laughs) no we can actually wrap it up after either this one or like one more question go ahead finish what you're saying yeah i'm done actually (laughs) i just want to eat okay next question of the night we can actually wrap it up uh, after this so do you guys think that someone that gets with a lot of people that are less attractive than them can actually bring down their like their standards how do i say this can bring down their image no no so like let's say so let's say let's say no no no, no. that so let's is say, so shallow wait, 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 wait. so for example for example for example we just been talking no, wait, wait, about listen, <laughs> listen 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 for example right let's say you think this guy's really really cute right but every time you see him at a party He's always with a different girl, mm. and the girl's like not attractive. Like you got what I mean, like or at least to you, you don't think they're attractive or something okay. like that. Can that bring down your image of them? Like, does that make the guy less cute? Is what I mean. You know what I mean? It doesn't make the guy less cute, but it makes him easier. Mm. Easier. It doesn't mm. make the guy mm. less cute, but it might. I I might question myself i'd be exactly. like exactly so you're gonna question yourself though and be, be like, like am i really gonna go after this guy no no no. it's kind of like no, no no i would question how attractive i am i'd be like oh he keeps going for like i don't know yeah, i guess you, we're saying like like, come, like people that aren't like good looking uh-huh, we're talking about that uh-huh. to you to you people that you don't find attractive oh then i'll be like damn Maru, i don't think you should think about it like that just think about it as he's fucking easy and he's a dog that's your first thought that's my first thought i'm not thinking like damn am i that ugly because i know Okay. I'm just thinking, okay. That is so, true, Cynthia. So let's say, let's say, same thing, same scenario. And then one night he comes and talks to you. And then he's flirting with you. Uh huh. You're still just going to think, oh, he's just easy. Yeah, he's just a dog. What are you going to think, Mario? You know what? Cynthia, you're opening all my eyes. Yeah, because obviously he wants to talk to you because you're pretty. But like, if you see her with, with every other girl, everybody else, he's yeah. just a dog. That is true. I agree with Cynthia. She said but, it all. Ma- Maru, I also remember you yeah. saying in the past that if you realize that a guy has had a track record of really, really good looking girls and they come and talk to you, that's low key almost like a compliment to you, isn't it? Like if they've had like ex-girlfriends that are really, really attractive and they come and talk to you. You remember saying that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like if his like, <laughs> if all his exes were like really pretty. Yeah. And then he comes to like, you, it's like, oh, well, he's in a pretty girls. Right? I would see it that way a little, yeah. Okay, but you're saying it doesn't go the other way. No, I just agree with what Cynthia said. That's not what we're talking about. Wait, though. let me think about it. Yeah, like, like, so she said before that... I know. Shh. Think about it. Okay, think about it. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Thing one and thing two are pissing me off. Can you stop? <laughs> no, yeah. No. Oh my God, that was good. That was funny. That was good. That was good. <sighs> okay. I just had a good laugh. I needed that. Yeah. <sighs> But, okay, now I know what you're saying. Cynthia, while you're thinking, I'll talk. But um, Nick was saying, so you're saying basically, like, literally what I was saying. Like, basically, it's like, am I one of them? Yeah. Type of thing? Like, you're going to think, like, wh- like, why the fuck is this guy talking to me? Because mm, he always just talks to ugly, like. <laughs> <laughs> Girls that you find less attractive. Ugly. Girls that you don't find that attractive. <laughs> you about to say ugly bitches? <laughs> <laughs> You can say that. Like, no, you can say that. Like that's not bad. Put, that's not bad. That's no. not bad. Can I disclaim? Define <laughs> ugly bitches. <laughs> can I just say I genuinely don't think like girls can be ugly. Okay. I genuinely girls think are every ugly girl is beautiful. when their personality is ugly. What and Cynthia that's said. On Everybody's people. ugly when their personality is ugly. But I guess like ugly. Nick is saying like not my type. Not your type. Like but, just girls. Okay. Girls where you'd be like this guy can pull a fucking ten out of ten in my eyes, but really he's only pulling like sixes and sevens. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. So if he's if he's okay if he's a ten out of ten and he's pulling fives, I would think oh he's a dog. But if he's a ten out of ten and he's pulling ten out of tens and then he starts yeah. talking to me, you're gonna think you're a ten out of ten. Nah, I think I'd be pretty insecure about it. What? Really? Yeah. Where did that come into play? I was just thinking about it. No, but Cynthia. No, I'm talking about if if they're. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he has green pants on. <laughs> 
<laughs> but Cynthia, <laughs> you're a 10 out of 10, so. Okay, why would like, you? Like, okay, thank you. But like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, don't forget to acknowledge the compliment. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that's, I think that's how just I would react. Like, I'm thinking about it now. Like, if his, he had a line of like, like maybe three exes who were like fucking beautiful. Yes. I'd be like, it's like, I'd be mm. like, damn. What like, do they think that you're really beautiful though? But still, like, either way, it's, like, how I think of myself and how I'm looking so at other like girls. Your, it's just your self-image that you think yeah, of. Yeah, my, okay. my own insecurities. I'm thinking, thinking of the man. Type shit. Huh? It, it kind of goes the other way. Like, when they get with, like, fives and then they finally get with me, it's, like... I got no competition. Like, exactly. Like, they can lose me. Like, they need to suck up to me, you know? Damn. Mm. I'm, like, kind of, like, opposite Cynthia. A little exactly. Like, no, I'm thinking... I'm thinking Wait, that if... I'm what's bad? <laughs> I'm, like, should I be saying... No, 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 no. It's not bad. I think, I think it's honestly, I think I kind of would feel like that, too, a really? little bit. Yeah, be, but, I mean... No. Nah. Yeah, kind of. Because, I mean, like... You know when you see a beautiful-looking human being. You know what I mean? Like, they're just, like... Yeah. They're good-looking, bro. Yeah. You can't yeah. go past that. Yeah. What are you yeah. gonna do, bro? If I, if I'm if I ask a girl on a date and her track record is all like six foot three fucking like football <laughs> basketball guys, and she says yes to a date with me, yeah. I'm the fucking man. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm the fucking man. Like how how can you not think that? Yeah. How long are you thinking yeah. that? Until the second date. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. If the date goes well too and she wants to meet for a second, I'm gonna be like I'm him. Yeah. Like, him, I'm bro. I'm yeah. him. That's I what I'm trying to so. say. I think so. Yeah. Honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like we should stop comparing. It's just causing problems in no, our heads. It, it is. It is. It is. It is. But yeah. coming back to what I'm saying, though, yeah. is can your image drop if you're being seen with women that possibly you're going for women that maybe people think are less attractive than what you could be getting? It drops in the way Cynthia said that like it, it can make you look like a dog. A dog. Yes. Okay. Sorry. But it doesn't drop in a way where I'm like, oh. I find Good him job. less That's like exactly. physically attractive or anything like that because we talked about how like. But being seen, being seen, <laughs> being seen. <laughs> I got it! I got it! How do you grab that? Murder you in your sleep. That was good. Can being seen be? But you got seven. Oh, <laughs> it didn't go. But Fuck. also, it's because like if if they were hella attractive, <laughs> mm -hmm. like the exes. I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> go. She was banging that bitch, my man. If like the the exes are like hella attractive, like the guy was like in a fucking relationship with true, these girls, true, like they true. like they had sex, you know, like they were like they were tied. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, what were you saying? I you have no idea. Out. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea what the fuck you just did right now. Okay, I still not this whole fucking the conversation. <laughs> I don't really like that diet question. Problem. You don't? No. Honestly, no. me neither. It's a weird question. It's like a. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, like I don't like it. Dude, it's but weird. I mean, I don't. I. I think. I can. Where I, um, I don't know if we talked about this before then, but like just going back to the dog question, mm -hmm. can a guy being known for being a dog does that bring his image down like crazy? Yeah. What if he's a nice guy though, and he just you know just gets like a little lit at parties and? A lot of dogs are nice guys. A lot of nice guys are dogs. Period. Can't she's correlate that at she's all. It's not wrong. It's just like your image would be <laughs> would be going down in that like I probably wouldn't date you because I know exactly. you're a dog. But like a lot of dogs <laughs> that I know are like fucking nice. Like, but is that nice or manipulative? <gasps> So they're, they're not like nice. Friendly, like they get, they can get their way. So it's manipulative, not nice. Not like man, like charming, but like they charming know they're like word. charming, charming, so they can like get charming. their way. I think if you're a past tense dog, you could definitely turn into a nice guy. Oh, for sure. And I think that yeah, everybody can grow. You know what I mean? Yes. Are you talking uh, about yourself, Sage? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> talking about a friend. <laughs> talking about a friend. <laughs> no. No, I just I heard that. I heard Steve Harvey say it. He explained it Wait, so say, fucking say, good. Say it again. He said, he, I forgot what he said. Dude, it was he said, good. Naked though. grandma. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what, what did he say? Wait, wait, he what said, he, I don't know. About, wait, what was the emphasis of it? What was the emphasis of it? It was like, it? you could be, like, guys learn. Like, you know, girls like sometimes be like, oh, like, like guys, they all say the same. If you're a cheater, you'll always be a cheater. Uh -huh. Like, not saying, I don't know, but I mean, that doesn't go for everybody, obviously. But he was like, he put the emphasis on, like, everybody can change and he'll change. You can't. Fuck, what'd he say? He said, mm, it was good though. It was good. Look it up. Basically, he was saying you can't keep a person stuck in one category. 
Yes, but also it was like he said, he said you can't change some. He said something about the guy. He said, but a guy can change for the woman, and I wasn't sure. Oh, man, oh dude, it's, it's you can't change a man, but, but a man, man can, can change <laughs> himself for, for, for a, a woman. woman. Okay. You can't Period. change a man, but a man can change himself for a woman. I I agree with that. I agree with that too because you it's can't like can't change a man, but yeah. a man can change for a woman. Let me like explain. Man can change himself. Oh. You can't change. Let Madu let Madu explain it. Let Madu explain it. You can't force your. You can't change a man, but the man can change himself for a woman. That's fucking solid. It was solid. It is true. And I was like, because honestly, before I'd be like, yeah, if they're a cheater, like. I kind of like fuck you. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I would feel a little bit insecure going into a relationship. I'd be like, ah, I know you did something before. I don't know if I'm really trying to trust you like that. Mm-hmm. But everybody can grow in their sense, like you know what I mean, in their own ways. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you can tell and tell and tell a person like change, do this, do this different, blah blah blah. They'll never listen to you mm-hmm. unless they really want to and they realize it's, something about this connection. Yeah. Is yeah, I, I fully agree agree with that statement. To be honest. Yeah, like for real, I think people can only change if they like want, they want to change yeah. Yeah. yeah for the right person mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's why i don't even be like i don't be telling people you, yeah. anymore i'm like can you please do this or can you stop doing that i'm just like i just be like i just tell them like honestly that doesn't make me feel good or honestly this makes me feel good i'm like but on like uh-huh. do whatever you want and then and if they the don't change like okay fine like i won't just i just won't be in your life like you can do yeah. you you yeah. know mm-hmm. like i'm not gonna force you to change for me like if you don't want to change either. for me then it's cool yeah. i'll go <laughs> Bye, you know. Yeah, I like that. I that was a g- shout out Steve Harvey. That's a great statement. Shout out Steve Harvey. We can end it on that note. A song of plan. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, well, thank you for tuning in, y'all. Uh, this has been Suburb Talks. Make sure you like, Alien subscribe. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Follow us on all our platforms. Uh, add me on Snapchat, Nick underscore Greheda. Join the Discord, motherfuckers. Um, we be communicating in there. I'll be asking y'all personal questions. We want to know themes. Uh, this like poll, this past poll, I might throw it back up for a little bit. I don't know yet. But um, other than that, guys, it's pretty big. That is. <laughs> What'd you say like that? Can I? I'm gonna keep that. Oh, let me keep that. I am your host, Nick Rahetta. Go ahead. <laughs> Ew, dude. I'm Bintia Boy. Devon Tight. Maru. Sage. You guys are fucking crazy from those confessions, though. Yeah, those confessions yeah. are wild. Y'all got me low key, like, fucked up this whole podcast ever since I started saying those. I was like, You felt dirty talking okay, about also, it. I, I felt dirty say- saying it. <laughs> for the cheating confessions, shame on you. For the cheating revenge stories, good for you. <laughs> I don't know that one about Here waiting you. like till their at one year anniversary. Nah, no, that's, that's savage. savage. That's savage. You're determined, bro. You are determined. Well, he kind of deserves it. He really deserves he it. Actually. If you can hold out, hey, if you can hold out, like hold the fuck out. Cheaters deserve hell. I hope you die and go to hell and burn for eternity. But they can change. <laughs> oh we yeah! Just wait, that. wait! Did we, we just, just yeah, yo? Did we just talk about this? <laughs> we just said it. She was like, Where's "Yeah, my you look crazy right now with that chicken <laughs> and that brownie Where's face." Where's my money? We said you look like a mafia right now. Where's my money? Where's my money? I guess people can't change, but once a cheater, always a cheater. Mm, sounds but, like you don't okay. believe in Steve Harvey. I think I think they can <laughs> change, but like for the right girl. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't give a fuck if they change. Like, you still cheated on me, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's why. That's no, yeah. Why don't go back to that same person, obviously. But, hey, somebody else can get them and yeah. somebody else's treasure. Eggs. Can reap the rewards. Mm. One man's trash is another man's come up. That's my trash. That can be your come up. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. solid. I want to end it on that note. Anyways, Hell guys. Yeah. Uh, salute my people to another great podcast. <laughs> salute. Salute. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, wait, did I actually? Everyone throw their water on stage. You spilled on me, buddy. You spilled on my back. One day we should do like a swimsuit pocket. Oh, wait, never mind. What the fuck was that for? So we could actually splash each other. Oh, okay, yeah. Flash each other? I'm down. Nick! That's what you just said! Nick, you dirty bitch. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about you, Marlo. I was talking about fucking Devin. Alien Gucci! <laughs> oh, yeah, Devin does have bigger boobs than me, so. Makes sense. Can I see? Actually, yeah, they're, they're called pectoral muscles. 